it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making my favorite recipe which is buffalo chicken dip. I found this recipe on Facebook a couple years ago so I can't take credit for coming up with it but I have changed it a little bit throughout the past year or so to make it better and I hope that you guys could find ways to make it better in your own way but in my opinion this is the best way to make it. This recipe costs about $25 to make which does sound like a lot considering it's just dip but it does make a very large serving and can last you for at least a week because it does heat up really well. Now that price can fluctuate depending on what grocery store you go to and what type of chicken that you buy. So in this video, I'm gonna be using um, fresh raw chicken breasts, but I know there is canned chicken that is pre-cooked that you can use if you'd like, if you're trying to save a little more money. Personally, I feel that using um, fresh raw chicken breasts is best um, if, as far as flavor and consistency goes, but if you are on a budget, then canned chicken breast also works as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. Three or four large chicken breasts, depending on their size. One 16 ounce bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch one 12 ounce bottle of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, a large bag of shredded cheese, and two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Now as far as equipment goes, here's what you'll need. A large pot to boil the chicken, and a crock pot to cook the dip. First, you're going to fill your large pot about three quarters of the way with water. As shown here, this is how full it should be. Then you're going to take that pot of water and place it on the stove and set it to high heat. Also add salt to your water before it starts simmering. Once it's at a boil, add your chicken breasts. Now my pot is not large enough to fit all three chicken breasts, so I'm going to be doing one at a time. If you have a larger pot that can fit all three of them, then you can do that as well. Cook the chicken until it is cooked all the way through so that the meat is white all the way through as shown here on this cutting board. Then we're going to be shredding the chicken like I'm doing here. Um, you can just take a fork and a knife and pull the chicken apart like I'm doing. The chicken should look like this once you're done shredding each piece of chicken. Then we're going to scoop the shredded chicken into the crock pot like I'm doing here. You can repeat this process until all of your chicken is shredded and put into the crock pot. Once all your chicken is in the crock pot, we're going to add our ingredients. First, we're going to add our 16 ounce bottle of Hidden Valley Ranch. You're going to add the entire bottle, just evenly distributed among the chicken. Next, we're going to be adding our Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Also add that entire bottle on top of the ranch. After the Frank's Red Hot Sauce, we're gonna be adding the two blocks of cream cheese. You can add three if you'd rather have it a little creamier, but I usually just do two. Then we're gonna add our shredded cheese. Just add it till it covers all of your ingredients and you can't see it anymore. Um, you can add a little more if you'd rather have it a little cheesier. Then we're gonna place the lid on and set it on high for an hour and 30 minutes. After the first hour, take the lid off and stir it up so it is easier to stir once it is completely finished. For chips, I like to use these bowls, or the brand name is Tostitos Scoops. Then after that 30 minutes is up, your buffalo chicken dip is ready to be stirred one more time before you're ready to serve it. Just make sure there's no more cream cheese left unmixed. It should look like this when you're done. Then it's ready to be served. Enjoy your buffalo chicken dip. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button to keep yourself updated on all of my recipes.